Hello everyone, I'm back with another Chill Builds experiment, and this time I have something that hasn't even been officially released yet. Uh, it's the Intel i5-12400. This is a highly anticipated budget processor that has no efficiency cores, only performance cores, six of them, and I think most people expect this to compete with the 5600X, except, you know, there's no overclocking, and... For other reasons, it might not compete on total platform price. But inside the box, you get a CPU, as you expect, a nice little sticker, and a stock Intel cooler, the new one, which is pretty cool looking, if you ask me. And um, I guess you have, because you're watching my video. The stock cooler actually performs pretty well, but we'll get to that later. Uh, so I slapped this system together. I just used the stock cooler because I wanted to see how it performed. And I threw it in a system uh, with, well, the specs will be on the screen. The highlights are that it's a DDR4 MSI Tomahawk board, and I'm using DDR4 4400 memory, which was actually pretty cheap, surprisingly. Um, I only tested Cinebench R23 and Blender, and we'll start with the Cinebench results. In Cinebench, this performed really well, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really much of a benchmarker. This is all for your benefit. But it seemed like it was pretty good. And the best part about it was, as I tested it, on the stock cooler, the max CPU temp only hit roughly 81 degrees Celsius. And that was in a roughly 20 degrees Celsius ambient temperature. So, I mean, it that's a lot of temperature but i wasn't in like thermal throttling territory and i was hitting about four gigahertz on all cords cores during the whole test you can see the scores on the screen uh, roughly twelve thousand for multi-core and uh, high 1600s for single core um, Compare that with whatever you have, and you'll get a good reference for how this does. But the rumors I've seen floating around the Internet suggested almost exactly these scores. So I'm not too surprised, but I guess that gives some credit to the rumor folk. Uh, they got something right. I also tested the Blender BMW benchmark, and the average time to complete was about 3 minutes and 16 seconds with roughly the same temperature and frequency parameters as the uh, Cinebench R23 test. Thanks for watching. I'll leave you with a little bit of a sound test. The Lee and Lee fans are a little bit loud themselves, but this is the stock cooler when the CPU is going at maximum in one of the tests I was running before.